DMH Newslink, your trusted source for the latest in healthcare news. DMH Newslink. Hi everyone, I'm Michaela Hunt with DMH Newslink and we're here with DMH cardiologist Dr. J today to talk about those newer blood pressure guidelines. Dr. J, thanks for spending some time with us. It is my pleasure. So tell me a little bit about what the new standards look like compared to the old standards. The old standards was published in 2003. At that time, the threshold for diagnosing somebody with high blood pressure was greater than 140 systolic and greater than 90 millimeter diastolic. And the new guidelines was published last year based on all the studies that have happened in the last 14 years. And we've lowered that threshold to a systolic blood pressure of greater than 130 and a diastolic blood pressure of greater than 80. And this is what hypertension, high blood pressure looks like. Absolutely. This is when you see what is blood pressure is the pressure exerted on the arteries of the heart. So the pressure exerted during systole is called systolic blood pressure and the pressure exerted during diastole is the diastolic blood pressure. And uh, when your blood pressure is high, the effects of the high blood pressure are greater heart attacks and greater strokes. So given some of these changes, really, what about people who had concerning numbers before this? Should they have greater concern now? Well, according to the new guidelines, 31 million more Americans are gonna be diagnosed with hypertension. But the good part of it is, we don't need to treat all of them with medication. Only about four million of them need medication. The rest of them just need lifestyle changes. This the reason for doing this is so that people become more aware, so you have earlier intervention in terms of non-pharmacologic intervention, non-drug therapy with diet, exercise, and lifestyle changes. So the last standards, it wasn't that there was a problem with them because sometimes when we hear change, we think, oh, there's a problem we need to adjust, but it doesn't sound like that. No. This is bringing to uh, the forefront the lower numbers so we can have greater awareness so that we can in intervene at an earlier stage in the, co in the disease progression. So what kind of conversation should we be having with our doctors now? Well, make an appointment with your DMH primary care provider or any other provider. Talk to them about the new guidelines and he'll talk to you about dietary changes, especially trying to limit your sodium to less than 1500 milligrams a day or less than, preferably, less than 2,400 milligram. This is most pronounced in African Americans. Exercise 30 minutes a day and stress relaxation techniques like meditation or yoga, trying to achieve that ideal body weight. Other lifestyle changes, smoking cessation, limiting alcohol, all of these play a huge role in reducing the cardiovascular risk. And if there's a combination of lifestyle changes, how does that actually change our numbers? Each one of these lifestyle changes reduces your systolic blood pressure by three millimeters. So when you have a combination of them, we can reduce your systolic blood pressure by greater than 10 millimeter. And that's why you don't need medications if you're 140 and then you, you'll drop below 130 and you can control your blood pressure with just lifestyle change. So lifestyle change, lifestyle goals is how we need to think about it. Absolutely. Dr. J, thanks so much for spending some time with us. You're welcome. And if you want more information on this, all you have to do is go to dmhcares.com forward slash news.